Hello, uh, this is Saravana Kumar, a founder of Bistock 360. Uh, yesterday we announced a brand new tool called Bistock 360 EC Installer. The objective of the tool is for us to make it as easy as possible for people who want to evaluate Bistock 360. And with the Microsoft recent introduction of uh, virtual machines in the cloud, uh, we wanted to take advantage of it and use that process to make it as simple as possible for people who got access to uh, Windows Azure Cloud to evaluate Bistro 360 very easily. So we wrote a detailed blog post about it yesterday, but in this short video, I'm just going to show you like how easy it is to set up and configure Bistro 360 for evaluation in less than 15 minutes time. As a first step, let's create a brand new Bistock server virtual machine using the Windows Azure portal. As you can see, I already logged into my account and you can see there's a one virtual machine listed here. So I'm going to create a brand new virtual machine from the gallery. So new uh, virtual machine from gallery and I'm going to pick up Bistock server evaluation version because that's the cheapest option and that's the one used for basic evaluation purpose. You click next and let's give a name for the virtual machine. Uh, let's call it a uh, EZ uh, BTS uh, 2013 E8 uh, or something. And for we can, you can pick up any size, but for this demo, I'm going to use medium and I'm going to specify a username and then password for it. Okay, let's confirm the password and then move to the next step. I'm going to put the DNS name same as the mission name and we're going to leave the rest of the stuff uh, as it is. Once it's verified, uh, let's it will move to the next step and I'm happy with uh, everything and I'm just going to click complete. So this step is going to take a while. It takes roughly about uh, five to six minutes to provision a brand new medium-sized Bistock evaluation version in the cloud. After leaving the provisioning process for some few minutes, uh, you can see now our, uh, our Bistock server virtual machine is up and running. You can click on it and you can click the connect button at the bottom, which will download the, the RTP file to connect to Bistock VM. You click and then say connect and to enter the username and password you are, you provided while provisioning the VM. Okay, say yes. And now we logged into a brand new Bistock server virtual machine uh, within like uh, six minutes time. Let's it just go through the standard personalization settings and it should be up and running in a few seconds. Into this brand new Bistock server virtual machine. Uh, by default, the Bistock server uh, is installed on this uh, on the on this provision machine, but nothing is configured. So it's it's the user's responsibility to kick off the Bistock configuration wizard and go, go through the uh, config process. But as part of Bistro 360 a easy installer, we wanted to make, a, make the process as simple as possible and we don't want the user to do any activity at all. So all you need to do is like, let me go back to the, my machine and if you, there is a blog post about this topic which explains the things, uh, what you need to do. And if you scroll down, all we need to do is like copy this one line uh, PowerShell statement. I'm going to copy it and go back to the virtual machine. Uh, open a new PowerShell command and say paste it and press enter. It's downloading our EC installer tool uh, from the location, this HTTP location, and it will launch uh, very shortly. Okay, so this is the, the new EC installer screen and all you need to do here is like you just go and click on the configure button. And it will start processing one by one and as you can see there are the, the, these are the list of steps it's going to do. 
it's going to create a, a service account based on the credentials supplied here and it's going to configure Bistock server uh, using those credentials uh, we use the command line options to configure it and once that's done it creates a service account for Bistock 360 it in downloads and installs Silverlight it enables HTTP activation it provides some SQL permission required by Bistock 360 it finally download and install Bistock 360 the process should take roughly about uh, six or seven minutes the majority of of the work is actually on the configuring the Bistock itself but if you already have a pre-configured uh, environment then this step will be disabled and you don't the installer will understand and it won't do the step again but in this case it's a brand new VM and we didn't touch anything on it we just launched the easy installer and going through the steps so I'm going to let it run for a few minutes and we'll we'll come back once the steps are finished as you can see majority of the steps are completed now and now it's doing the final step uh, downloading and installing Bistock 360 okay the, the process is complete now and, and behind the scene you can see a browser window is opening up and it's trying to open uh, Bistock 360 Okay, select since it's the first time we are using IE uh, use the recommended settings and here you go. So you got Bistock 360 up and running uh, without doing a much. You just click, clicking the config button and, and it does everything for you. Okay, just to summarize what you've done, like our objective with EC Installer is uh, giving you giving people the opportunity to evaluate Bistock 360 very easily without spending too much of your time. Uh, trying to figure out the prerequisites and creating a uh, installing it on your own uh, own machine and things like that so as a as an end to end process like you just go to windows azure portal create a brand new which bistock server evaluation virtual machine once it's provisioned connect to it and execute a one line powershell command and click the configure button and you should have a fully working bistock server and bistock 360 in less than 15 minutes time thanks for watching